I'm gonna show you all the secret things your key fob can do that most people don't know about. So stick around so you can discover all the tricks to mastering your device. What is going on YouTube? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jeremiah, AKA GM Bullfrog, and I am a professional certified sales consultant, technology expert, and safety advocate for Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. As always, if you want up-to-date information on all the new GM products, detailed guides on how to use the new in-vehicle technology, or any other information that would help you to make an informed decision on your next vehicle, make sure you hit that subscribe button to have access to all my videos so you don't miss out on any of my latest content. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. We are going to unveil the secrets that this little device has been hiding after a brief message from our sponsors. Designed for elegance. Crafted for sophistication. The embodiment of perfection. This is Keyfob from General Motiers. Brought to you by Black and White. The colors of class. Um, a very bad French accent. <laughs> oh, so dumb. And to think, if I were to air that during the Super Bowl, it would have cost me like $5 million. <sighs> would have been worth it. Anyway, we're going to go over this key fob with all these buttons here, and we're going to go over what each individual one does, as well as some hidden secrets you might not have known about. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Our demonstration vehicle today will be the 2020 GMC Sierra SLE. This is a fantastic truck and I give a big thanks to Silverthorne Chevrolet Buick GMC for allowing me to show you guys all this information today. All right, so the first one we're gonna talk about is of course the lock button. This one is pretty basic, a lot of people already know about this one, but just in case you don't know, um, if you touch the lock button one time, your lights will flash and it'll lock all the doors to your vehicle. If you uh, press it repeatedly, You'll hear an audible alert letting you know, hey, you know, the vehicle recognizes you press the lock button and it is locked. So it's great if you're not sure if you locked or not, just keep pressing it. And so it keeps sounding that horn over and over again. All right, and next up is the arch nemesis of the lock button. It seeks to destroy everything the lock button has done. And that is, of course, Dr. Evil. I didn't spend six years in evil medical school to be called Mr. Thank you very much. No, not you, Dr. Evil. It's the unlock button. The unlock button is pretty well known as well. Basically what happens is if you press the unlock button once, you'll unlock just the driver's side door. If you press it repeatedly, you'll unlock all the doors in the vehicle. And of course you get the flashing of your lights to signify the vehicle recognizes the you're pressing the unlock button. And now for secret tip number one. If you press the lock button once and then press it down again and hold it, you will unlock the powers of the force and be able to move objects with your mind. Observe. We'll use the force. That's not how the force works. All right, so moving on to the next button, we have this kind of half circle with a little arrow rotating around it right there. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, that is the remote start button. And as long as the vehicle is equipped with a remote start system, um, you can just use that button to start your vehicle from inside your home, to warm it up on cold days or to cool it off on hot days, whichever one you prefer. Um, and how that works, all you have to do is press the lock button once, then press and hold the remote start button, until your vehicle starts up. Usually it takes about three seconds of holding the button down and then it'll start back up for you. Um, if you're inside your house and you decide, eh, I don't really want to go anywhere, I still got my pajama pants on, don't want to go out in public, then all you have to do is hold that remote start button down again and the vehicle will turn off and then you're good to go back and lay in bed in your pajama pants. 
All right, next on our list, we have this little button here that looks like a car with the tailgate lowering down. And that's because that's exactly what that button does. All you have to do is press this button two times in a row and drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. When the pit all right, and the last button we have to cover is this small red, looks like it might blow something up if you press the button, um, but rest assured, if you press this button, nothing's gonna blow up, you're just gonna have an explosion of sound, because this is your locator slash alarm button. Um, to activate the locator, all you have to do is do a hard press on this red button. And basically, what that means is you just press the button for a solid second, and then watch what happens. You'll get three loud beeps that let you signify where the vehicle's at if you're in an open parking lot or a crowded area of any kind. And then it kind of shuts itself down. Um, to activate the alarm, however, you have to press and hold this red button for probably a solid three seconds. And then when you do that, So that was crazy. Okay, so it won't actually summon a SWAT team to break into your home, but it is a really loud series of beeps. And the only way you can turn it off is if you press and hold that alarm button a second time to make sure you deactivate the alarm. Uh, this is really only to be used in emergency situations or if you just happen to be up late on a Saturday night about three in the morning and you can't sleep, so you decide you wanna irritate your neighbors. Now, I know what you're probably thinking at this point. Why is it called a key fob if there's no key? Well, that's a great question, and let me cover that for you right now. This vehicle and several like it are completely keyless, so it has, it's equipped with keyless entry and push button start. Basically, all you have to do is press this little button on the side of the door handle as long as the key fob is within arm's length of the vehicle, so it can be in your pocket, in your purse, wherever. Um, just press that button one time, and that unlocks the driver's side door only. If you press it two times in a row, it'll unlock all the doors on the vehicle at the same time. So now the back door is unlocked, driver door unlocked, and all of it is unlocked. And it works the same way with locking the vehicle. If the vehicle's unlocked, you press it once, and then it locks all the doors for you. And that's all there is to doing it, and you never have to take your key fob out of your pocket. Now on the inside here, you don't have a, an ignition to put your key in because there's no key. So what you have to do instead is you put your foot down on the brake and then press this little start engine button. And that will start your vehicle up as long as you and the key fob are both in the vehicle. The vehicle will not start if the key fob is not inside the vehicle. Now another commonly asked question or concern with the keyless system is, um, since it's all electric, what happens if my battery dies? How do I get inside my vehicle? All right, and that's a very good question. So I'm gonna answer that by revealing secret number two. So there actually is a key, but it may be hidden in a vault deep inside a castle in the middle of the jungle, guarded by legions of the undead. Or you might just have to press this little button right here. It's one of those two, not really sure which one, probably the castle one. All right, so what you have to do is you have to take this key and then you stick it in the door and then you turn it to unlock the door, just like you would if you would have a keyed entry and then you would unlock a normal vehicle. The only problem is, is this vehicle detects this as forced entry. So as soon as you pour the, pull the door handle, you're gonna hear the alarm sound. So you wanna quickly go and push the button on the ignition to deactivate the alarm. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the door. It's gonna get pretty loud, so be prepared for that. All right, and we're gonna talk about another situation. What happens if your key fob battery dies and you can't start your vehicle because the vehicle doesn't detect the key fob inside the vehicle? This actually leads us to secret number three. These key fobs have infrared sensors equipped inside of them. So if your key fob battery dies, all you have to do is take your key fob, 
slap it up against the side of the steering wheel where an ignition usually would be, and then just start the vehicle up like normal, and you're good to go until you can make it to the parts department or to your local store and purchase a new battery for your key fob. So as you can see, there's a lot more to this little device than meets the eye. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something new, regardless of all the ridiculousness of the video. So now the only thing left to do is to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest content. And then don't forget to comment down in the comment section below if there's any material you want covered in future videos. Thank you so much for watching and most important, don't forget to drive safe out there. I hope you found this video helpful and if you want to see more like it, click on the link over here for more helpful tips, tutorials, and vehicle demonstrations. If you have any questions or if there's anything you want featured in my next video, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get access to all my latest videos on the GM products. Thank you so much for your support and drive safe out there.